whenever we are watching athletes complete ring dibs, it's quite often to see them meet the points of performance. So starting with arms locked out at the top, along with shoulders touching the rings. But whenever we actually watch their reps, they're not actually building strength or capacity in that movement. So what I mean by that, what we commonly see is athletes will go to the rings, they'll start locked out, their shoulders will touch the rings, and they'll extend. So while that looks like a good rep, it's not. What we want to focus on is our hips. So if you notice in my bad rep, I fold into the rings and extend. My hips don't really move a lot. If we look at a good rep, my arms still stay locked out, my shoulders touch the rings, but look how fur much further my hips have traveled. So a good rep, a bad rep, a good rep, this is what we want to look for. So whenever you're watching athletes do ring dips, you want to be watching their hips to see how much they're actually moving rather than just folding into the rings.